Good evening. This is the Duke of Fremont Street in Las Vegas, Nevada, in the United States of America. Today is July 3rd, 2022. As always, before beginning my short video, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for dropping by, and I would like to uh, drink, a, drink a toast to you. Salute. Astonishing. Well, the markets uh, are currently open in Asia, and both uh, gold and silver are currently trading down. Uh, gold dropped down to uh, $1,805.90 at one point, and silver went down to $19.75. Wow. These depressed numbers defy, uh, define a silver to gold ratio of 91 to one. So uh, the ratio is actually going up in, uh, in uh, silver's favors. So you wanna keep an eye on that. It wasn't long ago, it was around uh, mid eighties or so. Um, the last video I did, I've been kind of busy this summer. I've been uh, running around and duking around and actually I'm staying hydrated. This is water, not always champagne. And earlier this evening, I was, uh, I wandered around a couple of the casinos and uh, was enjoying myself. I thought about playing poker like I did the other day and didn't even bother putting my uh, name on the list. We have the World Series here in uh, Las Vegas currently. So there's a ton of uh, poker action in town. It's, it's ironic, 20 plus years ago, I moved to Vegas to play poker. I was a Mississippi Riverboat gambler and I came out here because this was the mecca of poker play. And uh, over the years I've slowed down uh, considerably and um, the plague didn't help very much. In fact, I think I've played twice since uh, pre-pandemic days. So that's in a couple of years. So I'll eventually get back into the saddle again but uh, people go, oh, you're a poker player. I said, yes, but I'm not a very good one. So think of the money I'm saving. <laughs> I never profess to be good at it, although I've played poker since around 1968, uh, somewhere in there. So I've, I've been playing it for a few years. Okay, let's, uh, let's think back from June 12th when I broadcasted the uh, silver and gold and their, their uh, monetary values at that time. It's also uh, very funny because that day I was convinced that silver and gold were gonna go straight up from that point. I thought we were at the bottom then. And um, in fact, gold on the 12th, which was what, three weeks ago today, this evening, was $1,869.40 ask, and silver was $21.74. Okay, uh, compared to the market uh, in Asia this evening, gold in the last three weeks has given up three and a half percent, which is substantial. You know, every, every point costs quite a bit of money. So gold in the last three weeks has dropped three and a half percent. Silver is down a whopping over nine and a half percent in the last three weeks. So, uh, uh, my prediction uh, in Vegas would be uh, defined as guess wrong. Um, I couldn't have gotten more wrong. Uh, at least I admit that I was wrong. Um, I think Jim Rickards one time, he had missed a, a prediction and someone called him out on it and he said he's entitled to his opinion but he's not entitled to his own facts. So I feel the same way. I'm entitled to my opinion, but I'm not entitled to my facts. And the facts are uh, 
stacked against me at the moment. So I, uh, I admit that I was wrong and uh, in fact, wish that there were more people out there in society today that would take that same stance. Um, especially the politicians. I, I I can't recall when I've seen any of them admitting any uh, wrongdoing or uh, miscalculations. Let's look on the bright side of things. The precious metals are down, and that's a fact. And another thing that's down substantially are the premiums. The premiums of the precious metals were astronomical uh, historically. And uh, lately, if you're following the market, you'll uh, see that the, the metals have gone down quite a bit lately uh, as far as the, uh, the premiums. And I think this trend will continue. So that, uh, that's a very good news for you as, uh, as the buyer. Um, I'll admit, um, I don't know where the bottom of this market is. I don't, nobody knows where the bottom of this market is. Um, but it has, we have to be close to the bottom, especially with silver. Um, I just, I find it hard to believe that we could go down that much further. Of course, anything could happen. But remember uh, the old saying, you will never buy at the low and you'll never sell at the high. But uh, we're a lot closer to the bottom now than we were three weeks ago. So to me, I find the metals even more attractive. Uh, no one is more baffled uh, by the recent losses. Uh, Although I don't despair, I consider it uh, just a, a buying opportunity. Uh, historically, with um, uh, civil conflicts and wars and famines and uh, just a myriad of, of things that are disturbing the universe, uh, the metals would have been uh, uh, already to the moon. So um, I can't give you a logical explanation. I'm, I'm sure there's one. I just don't know what it is why they haven't uh, taken off. Um, incidentally, I, uh, I don't own a white flag. Um, I don't uh, surrender. I believe that uh, I'm still on the right side of the bet. I'm a stubborn old Missouri mule and uh, I will continue to, uh, to acquire the metals. I do sell, of course. Um, I buy, sell, trade uh, and purvey. 24 seven, but I'm trying to limit my selling as much as possible. Although I will admit I've brought my premiums down substantially. I look at the world market every day. I, I would go online and, and see what uh, some of the big boys are buying and selling and trading for. And believe me, I'm right in there. So um, I'll put my numbers up against uh, anybody's. Well, as you're well aware, if you're an American, that tomorrow the markets will not be open uh, in observance of uh, Independence Day. So uh, happy 4th of July to everyone. I, uh, I sure hope you all have a good time. I'm, I'm planning actually on taking the day off and relaxing poolside or whatever and uh, enjoying uh, my Vegas life. I really uh, look forward to the Markets opening on Tuesday. And um, I'm still bullish on the uh, precious metals, probably uh, more so than ever. And um, and I, I personally, I think they're going to go up this week, but uh, time will tell. We'll see you. Although I cannot control uh, the price and uh, I can't control the events that that um, um, motivate people's buying and selling, I can control uh, what I can do about it. What's the old saying? Don't worry about what you can't control. Uh, concentrate on what you can control. And that's, that's kind of my attitude with this whole market. I've been at it for 50 plus years and uh, I've said it once and I'll say it again. Um, you have to have a fairly strong composition 
and you have to be able to deal with loss. Um, if you live long enough, you will experience loss and it's, it's part of living. So um, you, um, you shake it off and you, you uh, continue and you carry on. As they would say, you carry on. Well, anyway, once again, I would like to wish uh, my fellow Americans a uh, happy 4th of July. And um, I would like to once again drink a toast to your wealth and to your health and to your happiness. Salute. Well, thank you guys for stopping by this evening. Oh, I didn't even get a chance to rattle some of my latest stuff. These are all the old Mercury dimes. I intend to go through those later and see if there's, you know, any of the better dates or whatever. Anyway, if you get in Vegas, uh, give me a call. I'd love to meet you in person sometime. Um, um, I'm always available. Um, call me anytime. In the meantime, stay happy. So long.